Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fed channel. You most likely haven't seen it yet, but I did this past weekend fly out to Vegas to go to the Rurock Demo Day event. And I came home with a new Mercury helmet. So I do want to put a disclaimer out there that this was part of their giveaway for going to the demo day. So I did not purchase this helmet. With that being said, just because of my integrity, I don't want that to be in question. I'm not going to compare it to Showy or anything like that. I will compare it directly to their previous product, which is the Atlas 3.0. And if you guys watch my videos enough, you will know how the 3.0 compares to my Showy. So all I'm saying here is connect the dots. <laughs> Let's go and roll the intro and we'll get into uh, today's story. Roll it. All right, so yes, I was fortunate enough to go out. I met a lot of the great team. Archie, Dan, thank you again for uh, the invite. It was really just out of this world experience. I've never done anything like that. It really went outside my comfort zone, especially to uh, walk up and talk to people who I had no clue who they were. But I know that's why everyone is not here today. So let's get into the subject of why you are here. And that is, what is new on this helmet that would justify you upgrading from this helmet. So let's get into it. The first thing that I want to show you, and we'll zoom in on the helmet here, is this top mounted switch, which is going to help with the airflow going through. And when you don't want the airflow coming through for you crazy northerners, <laughs> you have the ability to shut it off now. Uh, what that's going to do is essentially it replaces the vent plugs that you were able to get on the previous helmet. Now, one thing they did say at the demo for it was it's about a five minute experience to go from really cold to really warm from when you open and close this thing. So we'll definitely test that out in the right portion later this afternoon. The next thing you'll notice about the helmet is they got rid of some ventilation on top. So we still have our top front vent but we also have the two vents that were on the middle and the back of the head gone. Again, their goal here was to make this a very quiet helmet while maintaining that airflow. You still get your exhaust air out the back, so you're not really supposedly losing any airflow. They do say that the air flows just as good. The top vents, you know, they did let some air in, but really they were just noise amplifiers more than anything. Uh, the next complaint with Rorox has been, again, wind noise. And it always came from right here on the side. So in the 1.0, these were functional vents. Since the 2.0, they have not been functional, but because of the swooping design on there, it was catching a lot of wind. And because it was catching a lot of wind, it was amplifying that noise that was just <clears throat> coming in. So, you know, they have taken steps on the inside. Uh, I have a cutaway of a helmet right here, which shows that they added some padding down there. And you'll see in the top as well, a little bit different liner, which we're gonna get into here very shortly. What they did with the extra padding was essentially it's to make everything more condensed and closer to your ears. Kind of like that video I posted where you put the pads on the shockwave and bring it closer. Same sort of deal with that. Before we get too much into the interior though, I do want to take a step back because there is so much padding on the inside. I did want to at least let you know that I did go ahead and measure both helmets weight because when you feel this one and you put it on, it feels, it feels heavier, but it's not. The reason it feels heavier is because it's actually more snug and compressed to your face the way a helmet really should be. That was one thing I did point out when I got this one, was this one did feel like it was more secure than this one, but now this one is more secure than this one. So they definitely have taken that right step. So both helmets now come in at a weight of three pounds, 12.5 ounces. And if you add a shockwave to it, you're looking at three pounds, 15.2 ounces. So you're still with comms under four pounds. Perfect. 
Now let's talk about these new pads and interior inside the helmet. The one thing you'll notice with this one, and I'll have to bring you in close for it, is the padding is much denser than before. Uh, before when you would push in, it, like you'd, you'd be able to feel your thumb on the back side. This one, you actually have to put a lot of pressure to feel all the way down there. So that's the first thing I noticed. Now there's also, it does look just, it, it looks smaller for your head. I did decide to uh, have my head measured while I was there. And I think his name's Jason, don't quote me on that. He went ahead and measured my head and he's like, you're gonna want a 2XL. I don't know if the size charts is being, are being updated at this point in time, uh, filming this anyway but I went ahead and sized up because again, these were both just XLs. So I was like, all right, I will try 2XL. If it's too big, I'll opt for a smaller version. So as you can see here, we're gonna put this on and a little tight going on, but it's on and it has a lot less side to side. See how it's moving my head now instead of me being able to really just kind of shake it around. So it is tighter. Now, again, this is the 2X version. So you might have a concern like the 2XL is fitting me really tight and you were already in a 2XL or you were kind of on the border like I was in the extra large. So what they have done for the first time in their helmet line is they have taken the cheek pads and on the back side of it, so the side that faces inside the helmet, you don't even see it, there's a zipper. And inside that zipper, instead of it being one foam pad inside of there, you'll find that they are now lined. So they have different layers. So when I got back to the hotel the first night that I had it, I put it on again as you know as I got it. And then I did take off just the top layer and it's made a world of difference. Now, it's still a little tight. I'm gonna see if that breaks in over time. But if not, I'm just gonna go in and peel off the next layer until I get it fit just perfect for my face. Again, another feature that will really make the comfort of the helmet tailored to you yourself. The one feature I have not talked about in depth is, is the new skull lining that's also in there. So again, this is all adding more padding inside. So again, this is why it's fitting a little tighter. But as you can see here in this picture, all these little blue rubbery things, so these are going to be another layer of protection. This is what's helping them get to that ECE certification. When those blue dots hit the ground, they harden and become another protective shell when your head hits. And you'll see that they're built at weird angles, like, you know, one's this way and this way. It's because they did their research and they know you never hit your helmet just straight down. It's usually at an angle of sorts. And so all that has gone into the play for the safety. Woo! <laughs> Talk about a lot of stuff that they uh, they added to it. I know I sound like a spokesman. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Again, I'm just telling you the differences between these two helmets. Make your own decision. But with that, I know what really matters is the ride experience itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out on a ride and we're just going to see, does it seem quieter to me? I'm going to take it on the same bike, the Triumph, that I took in when I did the uh, Joker's decibel test. I have a good feeling for how quiet that is. I know when I tested this one, it was like putting on noise canceling headphones. And again, we will also play with the switch to see if it's possible to uh, maneuver with your hands with gloves on. Uh, will it make a difference as far as airflow goes? We'll try both vents open, both vents closed and see if it makes a difference. Again, it's 50 degrees outside. It's the best time to really test this because I'll be able to tell if that cold is being blocked off or not. So let's go ahead and roll on out and uh, we'll see just how good a helmet the Rock 4 is. Let's go. All right, pick the absolute windiest day of the week to go out here and film, but what can you do? What can you do? To be fair, this is actually now the second time, so sorry, this isn't my actual first first impressions. I took a shortcut with my microphone on the first try and audio was garbage. So, it actually is going to prepare for a little bit better conversation on the ride portion of it. So, let's just start with the things that I noticed from the get-go that you might not like about the helmet. I uh, so say that this is anything that's going to 
make you not want the helmet at all. This is just more of the things that I have noticed. And they're not even bad things, they're just noticeable things. Okay. So first off, you will know the helmet does fit tighter. And with it fitting tighter, that's okay. Kind of like I said in the garage portion of it, there is a zipper so you can dial it in. Some people may not want that. Some people might want to actually just want to put the helmet on and go. But it is adjustable, so like I have fine-tuned mine, so mine is comfortable now. It, it literally took about 20 minutes of work to fine-tune it and have a custom-fit helmet for me. So, you know, woohoo! Uh, the other thing that you'll notice, though, is with all the extra padding and whatnot inside of the helmet, you do notice it makes your face sit a little bit closer to the front here. And what that's doing to me, it's actually, let's see if you can see it, but my nose is right up against the, the nose here. Um, it, it rubs ever so slightly, not to the point where it hurts or I feel like it's going to chafe or anything like that, but it is noticeable because, you know, we get kind of used to with the rocks having a lot of space. So this feels more closer to some of the other helmet lines that I have. Again, it's not a big deal, but I'm not going to let that deter a purchase of this helmet. Now let's go ahead though and get to why I know everybody's here. How is the wind noise and how well do the new vents work? We'll start with the wind noise. The wind noise is very quiet. Like I said in the garage, it feels like noise canceling headphones. Now you probably are picking up some wind on the microphone today. That's just part of a moto vlogger. But what you're actually hearing inside of my head is not loud at all. And it is very windy today. It's really coming in from this way. And so I, I, I hear the wind, but it's the wind at a very muted or muffled sound level, I guess you could say. I feel like this is on par with the modification that I did to the three to bring it in closer to my ears. It's actually a little bit better and I didn't have to modify anything. So kind of, kind of twofold awesome on that. Now for the other thing, these vents. So right now both vents are open and it's cold. <laughs> it's very cold right now because I said it was 50 degrees outside in the garage well it was yesterday when i filmed today it's like 40 so i'm having to uh kind of get around this guy so today's a little bit colder to say the least <laughs> all right we're going our 65 60 miles per hour test good old wind push again the audio level from the noise is not terrible it's actually really good it's as quiet as other helmets i have tested in the past and now we're going to see if i can close these vents now <laughs> it's going to be a little bit harder because i am fighting a tough wind today so i'm actually going to go back down to my speed limit just because of this test and so i'm going to go that way going to the left so going that way closes that vent then i'm going to go up from the bottom and that one's now closed so let's get back up to speed and how am i feeling on airflow all right we're back up to 60. all right so as far as the airflow is concerned i am still getting airflow in and it's not coming from here or up here it's actually coming up from underneath on the chin vent which you know air is going to get into your helmet you can't keep all air out so i do just have a little bit of a, a tickling breeze just underneath where my mouth is but my head's already feeling the effects of having that top vent closed there is no air coming through there so it is doing like what they were hoping to do which is eliminate the the helmet plugs and just have this one closing and opening mechanism so what they're doing here is they have officially, I think, made themselves 
on par with some other other companies. I always thought they were on par with the three, but now they're really, <laughs> really kind of getting there. Not trying to do a sales pitch on you. If you want to buy the helmet, you're going to buy the helmet. But if you own a three, would I justify buying a four? Yes. Yes, I would. I think it's that much better of a helmet. It's that much more comfortable of a helmet. <laughs> this ride is not comfortable. <laughs> but it's just an overall better experience. Again, I was given this one for attending the demo day in Vegas. So, with that being said, would I buy a second 4.0? And that answer is yes. And as far as the first designs that came out, this was the only design that I really wanted. I already had a liquid carbon. I already had a Joker. Um, I do like the Ghost. I do like the Core. I do like the Ultramarine. I mean, those are all actual different ones that I wouldn't mind picking up. And I still could. I have a couple other things I need to pay off first and along those lines, but I do plan on probably purchasing a second one of these. One that I'll do for moto vlogs and one that I'll just use to ride in. Woo, holy moly, we're into the wind now. But with that being said though, drop your comments below. What do you guys think of the helmet? Is it up your alley? Would you be willing to try it yet? We're not. Go ahead and post your comments below, and I will catch you guys on the next dark side as this is the way. Holy moly, it's windy. Check it out. Later.